With a new wave of electric cars hitting the UK shores, such as the Nissan Leaf, Peugeot Iron and Citroen C0, that old mother's tale of money doesn't grow on trees may no longer actually be right. What if it's now money grows on electric vehicles instead? Mitsubishi were first to the party with this, the iMiev, which came out this time last year. What we're going to do now is some number crunching to help us reach our final verdict. Unusually, the price comes first. This iMiev, which if you're wondering stands for Mitsubishi Innovative Electric Vehicle, starts at a tad under 24 grand. And that includes a five grand government grant for being such an eco lad. Cheers, DC. However, that's quite expensive if you compare it to the most popular car of 2011, the Ford Fiesta. For a five door petrol variant of the car, this costs a tad under 10 grand. And so being more expensive by a factor of 14,000 pounds is the first kicker for the IMEV. Where this EV starts to repay its owner is through its mighty low running costs. First things first, there's no need to pay congestion charge if you live in London. Also, many car parks offer discounted parking for electric cars. And then there's fuel. Current fuel prices are at £1.37 a litre and rising every year it seems. With your trusty Ford Fiesta with its smallest petrol engine churning out 51.4 miles to the gallon, this hits your wallet and costs you 12 pence per mile to run. And that's just the fuel. The Mitsubishi IMEV, on the other hand, with its lithium iron 330 volt batteries, costs just one penny per mile in electricity. So, how does that stack up in everyday life? Well, if you're going to head to your nearest Tesco's a mile and a half away, your Capri Suns are going to cost you 15p more if you go in a Fiesta than if you took your EV. That might sound ridiculous, but let's keep playing. If you're heading into town, perhaps to buy some new trousers, then your average 10 mile journey in the Fiesta is going to cost an extra £1. In fact, your average Brit travels 129 miles per week in their car. In the Fiesta, that's going to cost you £15.48 in petrol. In the Mitsubishi IMEF, £1.29. Saving 14 squid is certainly no laughing matter. And talking of town, how does the IMEF feel in its native environment? To be honest, it feels, well, quite natural. No engine noises at idle takes some getting used to, but the car is incredibly easy to drive. Just turn the key in the ignition, wait for the pongs, and slot the gear lever into D. The D position is for normal, run-of-the-mill driving. But get this, regenerative braking is automatically applied, helping to stop you in traffic and giving your battery some extra juice and range. For more regen braking and more juice, put the car in B. And for less interference from the regen brakes, just slide it down into C. One huge sick byproduct of an EV is a monstrous amount of torque they can generate even with small battery packs. This IMEF generates 133 foot pounds of this stuff, which means that the car feels a lot quicker than it actually is under acceleration. It has a horrific top speed of 80 miles an hour, but who really cares because you're not going to be hitting those speeds anyway in inner city driving. Instead, you can just relax and look a little bit mousy because make no doubt about it, this IMEF is a bit dweebish. The lack of a bonnet and no front overhang certainly doesn't help matters, but there is a little bit of a redeeming factor in the matte black paint, which does contradict the eco nature of this car. And let's not forget this cream interior, which covers the dash, but also reflects very horribly in the windscreen. Nice one. So how long will it take me to reap the benefits I've been harping on about? Time for us to get our geek on with a nice graph. Oh yeah, further maths has finally come in handy. By our calculations, factoring in the much higher cost of buying the IMEV versus the Fiesta, but the lower running costs and savings of around £1,000 a year, it will still take you 14 years to be better off with the IMEV rather than sticking with the practical Fiesta. But if you're constantly going in and out of London, then your total congestion charge savings will toss up to around £2,000 per year, which means it'll only take you seven years to be better off with the IMEV, which is definitely a more attractive proposition. The IMEF, and in fact most other electric cars, are still ridiculously impractical. Charging the car means grabbing this wannabe petrol nozzle, sticking it into the side cap and waiting for the click, and then taking the other end and putting it into your mains. But that means that you're going to have to leave your window open and fear getting robbed, or install a new socket outside. And you can't just use any old extension lead, because apparently it might melt. And then there's the time. It takes seven hours to fully charge the batteries from near empty via a regular charging socket, but you'll still only get 93 miles of range, and that's if you have a careful right foot. 
Um, so that means a trip from here to Scotland would probably take you about a week. You can charge a car via a special quick charging point. And that means a car takes only 30 minutes to get all of its juice back. But good luck finding one of those points or finding the cash to build one of your own. Electric vehicles should be the future. In fact, range extenders and hybrids probably are the future. However, a lack of infrastructure, serious impracticalities with the range, and that horrendous list price means that the EV future is not as close as we previously thought. So whilst I'm waiting, you can find me watching iRobot movie repeats on the telly.